We would like to make the devices more stretchable, more variable. But as we know, uh, solid materials can now be stretched to a large amount. And liquid represents the ultimate form of anything that can be deformed. And uh, liquid metal is a very interesting and fascinating material. It's conducting, it's a metal, but at room temperature, they are liquid. So that represents probably one of the best materials you can think of for making a stretchable electronic devices. By adding one thin layer of polymers on top of the liquid metal, we can increase the surface charge density uh, to a very large degree and we can improve the mechanical durability of devices. If you have a stretchable device and that means it's very soft, it can also tolerate a large strain, just like our skin. If you can have some devices possessing similar stretchability to the human skin, then you can potentially attach the devices onto the skin and you don't feel it. it's more like an invisible, imperceptible devices. And uh, we can use those type of devices to monitor human status and uh, those type of technology could have a huge applications in future human-machine interface robotics applications. We envision that this type of technology can be used in medical care for robotics, for consumer electronics, and also for defense technology. For example, you can imagine so a soldier can sit in front of screen and use these type of devices to control robotics that are in some dangerous, hazardous environment where human beings are forbidden and many other emerging applications.